We've actually spotted some holes here on the on the beach here. Well, let's have a look at our, our bait pumps that are put together here at Wilson's. Righto, folks, today we're going to be collecting some fresh bait. Um, things like yabbies and worms. Most of the estuary systems seem to have worms or yabbies. Up here in Queensland, we mainly catch yabbies with our bait pumps. So today we're going to go through some process of where to find them, uh, how to collect them and how to keep them. Righto, folks, we've actually spotted some holes here on the, on the beach here. Um, we're going to have a, have a go and see if we can catch a few yabbies. There's quite a few yabbies straight away. It always pays to have a have a have a partner or a friend here to come through and um, pick up pick up your yabbies for you. You always should let the little ones go too. A lot of these yabbies here at the moment are quite small, but um, they still work quite well. That one's sort of borderline. Ah, we'll let him go. We'll have another couple of goes. They are quite small on this bank, but um, they're still all right. They'll still go on the hook all right. Well, let's have a look at our, our bait pumps that are put together here at Wilson's. Uh, we've got Charlie in the background here going to assemble a, a few uh, yabby pumps for us and go through a few processes of um, how they're actually assembled. The three main parts of our bait pumps are the quality stainless steel tube, the solid brass shaft, and the quality foam washer. All right, folks. We're going to go through a, a, um, a process of a changing some the um, foam washer in a in a yabby pump. Um, why you need to change this this rubber is over a period of time, the salt water environment actually and the and the sand and that actually wears the foam out, and also over a period of time it actually goes hard. So the only thing you really have to do with a yabby pump is replace that foam washer. I'm going to go through a process of how to how to do it. It's quite a simple process. What you need is a, a shifter and a vise, and it's that easy. I'll just show you how to do it. Start off, you, you put the shaft in the vise like so, undo, undo the T-piece at the top. And there's also a little threaded tube on there that just unscrews like so. A little bit of rubber, take it back out of the vise. Push the shaft down so the the washer comes out the bottom, Unsc unscrew the wing nut, there should be one brass washer, then the foam washer, and then another brass washer. And what you do, we, we sell these pre-ready to go kits, you can buy them from most of your tackle stores, undo that, same process, back on, brass washer on the bottom, foam washer, brass washer, Wing nut. Tighten it up. Back in the shaft like so. Pull the shaft out a little bit. Straight back in the vise. On with the, the rubber tube. Screw that down so, like so. And then you put your T-piece back on. This is a little bit tricky, this part, but once you get it in the right spot, That's how simple it is to replace a, a washer in your bait pump. We've, we've pumped our nice fresh bait. We've got a, we've got a, a bucket full of uh, nice yabbies. I'm just going to go through a, a little, little, simple little rig that we use for um, baiting up these yabbies. It just consists of a, a running ball sinker, a swivel, and about a 40 centimetre trace with a long shank bloodworm hook. When you put the yabby on, you just start at the start at the rear, and you just thread him on, thread him on, until that barb comes up through his head.
There's a bite. Straight away. Oh, I got him. It just pays that, you know, if you, if you bring the kids out, you can pump, pump a bit of bait, even though this fish is not huge, but when it, when it comes to kids, mate, if they're catching something, it doesn't really matter. That's actually a little tar wine brim. That's straight off the same bank where we just caught the yabbies. Oh, and he's gone. We might put another yabby on and see if we can catch something a bit bigger.